Hey friends, it's your boy Big TCG Fan coming back at you with another video. Today we head back into the Ranking the Set series with the expansion Apocalypse. Released in June of 2001, this set was the third set in the Invasion Block and still part of the Weatherlight Saga. It consisted of 143 cards with only two legendary creatures. Because of this, we do not have an honorable mention. In last place, we have the hero of the entire Weatherlight Saga himself, Gerard Capuchin. Unlike the epic hero, this card is very substandard in power for what he was in the storyline. For three colorless and two white mana, you get a 3-4 with an upkeep ability that gives you one life for each card in target opponent's hand. You can also pay three colorless and one white to tap a creature, target creature. However, you can only use this ability if Gerard is attacking. It does a whole lot, but nothing very good or useful. His second ability would be great if it only costs one white mana, but at a four total co mana cost, it's just too much to ask for what it does. This card honestly does not make a great commander, but could be used to mask something within a mono white deck. Our number one card is a card that honestly would score really highly in many of these ranking lists. That card is Chromat. For Wooburg, you get a 5-5 creature with a diverse set of abilities that really makes for a very fun and highly flexible commander. For one white and one black, you can destroy a target creature blocking or blocked by Chromat. For one blue and one red, you can give Chromat flying until end of turn. For one black and one green, you can regenerate Chromat. For one red and one white, you can give Chromat plus one, plus one, until end of turn. For one green and one black, you can put Chromat on top of your library. Chromat makes for a very fun Voltron commander, but with access to all five colors and not being a sliver, he's amazing to hide a ton of possible tricks. He was very popular early in the history of EDH when there were so very few Wurberg commanders that were not a sliver especially since slivers tend to be a magnet for death to the controller's face. This is a commander I believe every player should try at least once. Apocalypse was a fun little set that did not bring us any heavy hitter cards like some of the other sets around it, but fun cards like Phyrexian Arena, Vindicate, and opponent pain lands like Shivan Reef were there. The commanders in this set are relatively inexpensive, inexpensive and I do suggest you give either a try. This concludes my video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Peace out.